there. I'm Fen Stenson, and I live in a town called Nevermind. It's that place right down there. My grandparents are from Sweden, and I love Swedish dance music. And I have two great pals called Jenster and Bark Bark. Our names are Jenny and Barker. Hey, Jen Jen. Nevermind is nothing like Sweden. It's full of strange and mysterious places, like this building right here, which used to be a mad scientist lab. It's called Colossal Chemistry. Howard Huxley owned the lab, booby-trapped the building, filled it with puzzles, and ran off. Who does that? The three of us are currently walking through a tunnel inside the building. Come on, it's loads of fun. Welcome back. We're still stuck in the Colossal Chemistry Building. But we did escape a room. I wonder how many more rooms there are. Probably at least a hundred. A hundred? If my calculations are correct, we'll escape this building in four years, two months, and twelve days. I wonder what's in the next room. <gasps> Maybe we'll find a hamburger. Or zombies. Or a zombie hamburger. Hey, it's a ladder. This must be the way into the next room. Take it slow, Jenny. Remember, we heard that strange sound and Dr. Vexler said it was extremely dangerous. <laughs> you mean that sound? Doesn't sound dangerous to me. Sounds like my kind of party people. Or it could be a gang of honey badgers. Heading up. I don't see any honey badgers or zombies. Or party people. This is very disappointing. Trapped in another room. It's like a danger sandwich. My favorite kind of sandwich. I know you're a danger expert and all, but personally, I'd rather be outside riding my bike. Ugh, please tell me I don't have something gross stuck to the side of my head. You have something gross stuck to the side of your head. I told you not to say that. Don't move. It's possible we have a noodle badger problem. A noodle badger? Stuck to my head? Hang on. I'll hit it with my fly swatter. It's attached to this little guy. How about you don't try to eat my buddy Jen Jen? Think you could do that? Don't make any sudden movements. This thing looks extremely dangerous. <laughs> Seems pretty harmless to me. And spoke too soon. Is this thing on? Hello? We found two furry creatures. They appear to be extremely dangerous. Oh, good, you made it into the second room. <laughs> now listen carefully. You've discovered two snoops. Hey, I know what these are. I had one growing out of my armpit once. The very same. Side note for all you friends out there. I once had a snurb growing out of my armpit. You can read all about it if you want. Just search for bonkers wherever you find your books. They made a whole big deal about it. Sorry, you were saying? This small green one is called Herb the Snurb. <laughs> hey, Herbie Herb Herb, the Snurby Snurb Snurb. The larger orange one is called Yam Yam. Yammers! <laughs> now, listen carefully. Snurbs will follow you wherever you go, so you don't need to worry about losing them. Now that you found Herb and Yam Yam, you won't be able to get rid of them. I don't like being followed. There's no time for fiddle-faddle, Barker Mifflin. Herbs is snub and yum yum may seem harmless, but they are extremely <laughs> dangerous. Oh, sounds good to me. There is one thing you must not let them do. Don't say dance. Don't Ooh. let them eat anything. <laughs> the more they eat, the bigger they get. Cool. What's the biggest one you ever saw? There's a snurb in Sector 6 that's bigger than a school bus! Ugh, kid stuff. Oh yeah? How about this snurb in Sector 9 the size of Idaho? 
Whoa. You must bring Herb the Snurb and Yam Yam to Sector 7 so I can put them where they won't grow. I repeat, do not let them eat. Now, on to more important things. I take it you're trapped in another room. We sure are. Tell me what you see. There's a desk and a chalkboard. Ah, yes. You found the classroom. And there's a riddle on the chalkboard. Want to hear it? Oh, I do like a good riddle. What has a head and a tail but no body? Oh, I know this one. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a watermelon. No, 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 wait, it, it's a, it's a toaster. No, 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 zebra. She's not great at riddles. Hold, please. Don't eat that. What has a head and a tail but no body? It's a coin. <laughs> Hey, I think that's right. A coin has a head side and a tail side, but no body. Cool. It's a banana. Hey, there's a coin slot right over here, next to the door. It's a muffler! No, wait, it's it's a car tire! Chairs are not for eating. They're for sitting on. Ooh! Ooh! Uh -huh. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Vexler? Are you there? It's a frying pan! Let's see if we can solve this room without her. She seems pretty busy. You can't eat the planet, Herb the Snurp. Don't even think about it. Hey, I bet those shapes on the screen match up with the shapes in this room. Hmm, I think I got it. Great job, Ben. You solved it. And the pad next to the door seems to have been activated. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nice job, Yammers. Its name is Yam Yam. Yamaru, the Yamster. Yummy! It's a motorcycle! She's very determined. Through the door. Checking puzzle dictionary. Hold, please. She'll catch up with us eventually. I wonder what room we'll find next. We're due for a monster room. I'll get my ping pong paddle ready. Did you know you can read the Bonkers book? It's true. It's called Bonkers, the terror in Jenny's armpit. Ah! It tells a whole different story with me, Barker Mifflin, and Jenny Kim. Just search for Bonkers wherever you get your books and come on back for episode three of Bonkers, the animated show. Gotta dance. Oh, it's a donkey. No, wait. It's an omelet! No, no, a chair? No, a, a swimming pool! It's got to be a swimming pool! Yes, it's a swimming pool! I figured it out! <laughs>